Hi, in this lecture, we'll cover how to join two tables in ODI. For this exercise, we'll use the employee and department table. So let's have a look into both these tables. Department table comprises of department number, department name and location. Whereas our employee table comprises of employee number, employee name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission and department number. So both these tables have department number as a common column so we'll perform an inner join on the basis of department number on employee and department table we'll be pulling out the employee number employee name department name job hire date and location so let's have a look into this query this is how it looks when we do a select on this join condition so the employee number employee name job and hire date are being pulled from the employee table whereas the department name and the location are being pulled from the department table we'll be populating these records into a new set of table that is odi join let's have a look into this so it has all the required columns that is the employee number employee name department name job hire date and location and is empty as of now so let's go back to our console and try to implement this in odi first we'll try to reverse the odi underscore join table get on the reverse engineer section put the name of the table that is odi underscore join and try to reverse it Now we have the table reversed over here in our model. Then we'll try to create a new mapping. Name it as ODI underscore join. Do an OK. We will drag the employee and department table as a source. In the component section, go on the join option and bring it over here now we'll try to connect one end of the department table to the joiner and one end of the employee table to the joiner we will drag our odi underscore join table as a target over here and connect it with the other end of the joiner Now we will do an auto map and here we will go. We will try to check our columns as to how they are mapped. So we see that employee number is mapped with the employee table. Employee name is mapped with the employee table. Department name we see that it is mapped with the department table. Job we see that it is mapped to the employee table. Hire date is also mapped to the employee table and location is mapped to our department table. Now we'll click on our joiner and check its properties. First we'll mention the join condition over here. So our join condition was on the basis of department number. So we'll go on the department table, double click on the department number over here. Then we'll put a equal to condition and then go to our employee table and the same way double click on the department number. So now we have put the condition over here. We'll do an OK. And this is the section wherein we define what type of join we want to do. For example, if we want to do a inner join, we'll not select or take any of these checkboxes. If we want to do a left outer join, we will take the department table checkbox. So it shows over here that it is a left outer join. If we want to do a right outer join, we'll take the employee table checkbox and it shows a right out to join if we select or tick both these checkboxes that is that is the department and the employee table it will show that it has done a full out join so in the same way if you want to do a cross join you can tick the cross join checkbox if you want to do a natural join you can tick the natural join checkbox in our case we will be doing a inner join thus we will not tick any of these checkboxes now we'll go on to our physical section. Select our target table that is the ODI underscore join over here. 
and we'll set the required knowledge modules. So in our case, we will be using IKM SQL insert. For now, we will do a truncate table, but be cautious while implementing it into your project. We'll do a true over here. Now we'll try to save this job. The job is saved. We'll try to run it now. Now let's get back into our operator. Refresh it. The job has completed. Let's have a look into the logs. So here it shows that a truncate has been performed. We'll try to look into the code. So it shows that it has truncated the ODI joint table. Now this is the code section wherein we have performed the join. It shows that a join has been performed on the department and the employee table on the basis of department number that is the joining condition is the department number of both the tables that is department table and the employee table here we can also see that the select in the select part it is pulling the department name from the department table and the location from the department table whereas rest of the columns are being pulled from the employee table we can see that there are 14 rows that have been inserted so let's get back to our table and check. We'll now try to do a select on our ODI underscore join table. Here we go. All the 14 rows seem to have been populated in this table and they look good. So this is how we implement join in ODI. Thank you.